Hey guys, welcome along, Nigel here, Nigel's Modeling Bench. Start by saying thanks for all your support, your support on Patreon, your subscribing, everything. Wonderful, thank you very much guys. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so. Um, and if you are annoyed by notifications, don't hit the notifications bell because um, I put out a lot of videos and some people complain that they get too many notifications. So if it bothers you, don't hit that one. Um, right. Some of you will know, some of my followers will know that um, I've had issues with these paints. These four here. OK, now. I don't remember the issues I had with this one other than I think it's not very good. Uh, I, that, that's my opinion. These two I think I've had issues with drying and this one I know I've had issues with drying. So and this one I know I've had issues with drying as well. Um, I use them on my Saturn V build and you will see there where I go on about them not drying and um, particularly if I use the Viejo liquid mask it wouldn't dry anywhere near that stuff so very very strange. Um, so somebody suggested it could be the base I'm using because if I use the base I'm using is actually this one here, Mr. Color GX2. <clears throat> it's, a, it's a new discovery of mine and it's absolutely amazing and Alclad's go on it beautifully. If you want to see how good it comes out, go look at my Saturn build, uh, part five or six, I don't know, where I paint the command module and it with um, Alclad chrome and it actually does look like chrome um it's incredible people say alclad's awful i think it's wonderful stuff and basically i gave it a coat of um aqua gloss afterwards another alclad product didn't lose any shine i've just put decals on it and it's wonderful so um i've actually just finished part 11 of the saturn 5 build which is the completion video and it's uploading as we speak so um so basically yeah back on track Somebody suggested it may be the base I'm using because they don't have that problem when they put this stuff. These are the main two culprits. They don't have that problem on plastic. So what I've done, this is actually the lower wing section of, off of a 24 scale Airfix Typhoon. Um, reason I'm using this is if you look here, you can see that in the factory, they decided to hack the sprue off. And when they did that, they actually cut into the wing and damaged it. So I've got Airfix to send me a spare one. So um, that was good of them. And also it's got some uh, moulding sink marks here, which are a shame. Um, I just hope the Hellcat's better. I have actually seen the Hellcat built up at a show in Gloucester. Um, young lady had built it and it looked beautiful, but, and it's a big but, it was a test shot. So test shot plastic is is it this horrible soft flexible stuff test shot plastic is um more like hasagawa very hard plastic so you don't get these kind of imperfections in the surface like you do so much with the surface with the softer plastic in my opinion so i've marked up here extreme metal metal color chrome metal color dull aluminium and model air aluminium okay so and i'll do the same over here so model air aluminium dull aluminium chrome and uh, extreme metal so let me get these painted up and then i'll come back to you and we'll see how they look after a few minutes drying time i'm going to be painting them with this cheap chinese airbrush um because i don't care so much about this getting metallic colors left in it if you are new to the hobby um it's something to be aware of when you start using these metalizer paints in your airbrush if you don't absolutely thoroughly clean it afterwards i can guarantee you you'll be putting the camouflage on your prize model bloody best ever class winning Spitfire and right on the middle of the wing right by the walkway it'll go poof, and there'll be some metal colour will come out of the airbrush and spray all over your model so um yeah just be aware of that so I'm going to use this cheap airbrush so the finish might be a bit pants but that's not what we're looking for here what we're looking for here is do they dry or not okay so this is um I don't know, 10 minutes after I've painted up, just give the airbrush a good clean out. Um, so I sprayed the model air aluminium first in these two panels here. It's this side that had the black on, this side is just bare plastic. And something I did forget to say in the original um, snippet as well, the Airfix plastic has a texture to it. So um, it's not a, uh, in fact, if I remove this piece of tape from the centre, I can show you. Uh, it's not a smooth, shiny plastic like um, Hasegawa or the older Revell kits. It's um, 
just like the more modern kits with this this kind of if I can get it in the camera for you it's kind of this textured finish so um yeah almost like it's um EDM you know so uh, yeah like a, like, like a piece of sunblasted steel say so you're not going to get the high chrome gloss shine that you would on a, on a perfectly smooth surface but as I said in the beginning that's not what we're after so um yeah so basically model air aluminium here is first and then we've got the um, metal color dull aluminium on these two panels here and as you can see it's a lot more dull on here than it is on there and you can really see the texture in the plastic with this so if you are building this model or, or any airfix model with this texture as a as a bare metal um, airframe you're going to have to sand and polish your plastic a lot first and you're also going to have to get rid of these molding you see these shrinks here um, you know there's no excuse for that there's nothing on the back of it there's no reason for that to be there whatsoever in fact you can see it on this side as well the shrinkage so yeah it's just poor quality control um, and then here we've got the um, this is the metal color chrome and this is it straight onto the plastic and again you can see the texture this one is on top of the black obviously the gloss black would have taken out some of that texture would have filled in some of it and then on the end we've got the um, AK Extreme Metal um, and on the back I just did as a quick com comparison this is um, this is the this one here number 218 this is the guns they got so many different metal colors out now uh, this is metal color alum aluminum aluminum they call it um, 218 and the beauty of that one is it dries very very quickly and you can polish it and it comes up really really nice um, you can see there it's polishing up beautifully and you get a a very nice and you can polish it with your finger and you get a very nice um, sheen to it the only trouble is because of that it does just rub off you can see I can just rub it off with my finger so a clean finger rub it you can see so it's not very tough and also I found that if you give it a clear coat it tends to coat, change its color but you can see there for stuff like detail parts or if this was an engine in a car that's not going to get handled then it's going to be wonderful but something like the air airframe of an aircraft I don't think it would be um, be the best so um, I need to wash my hands now really so yeah so as I said this wasn't an, uh, this wasn't a trial for airfix this wasn't a trial for the black paint this was a trial to see if any of these paints have dried and what I'm going to do I'm going to go and wash my hands now and I'm going to come back to you in about an hour and we'll see what's happened I'm not quite sure how to do the test I might use a cotton bud and see if it pulls threads out of the cotton bud no my look these will have all dried perfectly now just to mess this video up but uh, if that happens I won't be putting it out <laughs> so um, I'll see you all in about an hour right we've been about an hour so uh, let's have a look and see so remember this is the side that's got the GX2 on it the black paint this is the side with just bare plastic so starting with the model air aluminium you can hear that it's it's still a little tiny bit tacky it's not fully dried like like this black here is dry you can hear that my finger is kind of sticking to it and it's the same here so I wonder if I can actually get a cotton bud to stick to it no um, but you can you know you can if I slow the figure on there it's dry on the black there you can hear it's not dry my fingers kind of sticking to it okay so that's the model air aluminium not dried in an hour either on the plastic or on the GX2 so the next one is the metal color dull aluminium Vieco paint now this one um, is the one that I found for me never dries this is the one I contacted Vieco about and that's one thing I will say as well in this video I am not knocking someone's product without speaking to them first I spoke to Viejo about this they asked for the code off of the bottle and they came back and said it should be fine um, which I don't think is a very uh, suitable answer to be honest but um, so this is the metal color dull aluminium and that one you can see I, I can actually move the part around it's it's not dry at all um, I can rub it off with my finger now it's if anything it's drier on there than it is on there so yeah I mean 
and and I know it's only been an hour but let me tell you from experience of this paint and this paint I can guarantee you that I've had these like for two three days and they haven't dried so I know it's only an hour but it, what I might do is leave it overnight and add, add another bit to this video tomorrow today is Friday the 31st of May so here's the uh, metal color chrome again this is a Viejo product and it's yeah I'd say that's dry and I'd say that's dry actually that's, so this it's actually dried on there on both on the plastic and on the black paint and you can see that on the black paint it looks so much better than it does on the plastic just because it's got that black base behind it and I've put equal number of coats on both by the way as well so yeah that's dry now on the outside here this is the extreme metal um, aluminium I think it's just aluminium yes AK479 aluminium and that was by far the easiest to spray it's because it's a it's basically a lacquer based paint it says it's enamel product um, high quality enamel based paints for airbrush but it doesn't smell like an enamel to me it smells more like a lacquer so I don't know um, so that's its downside over all of these it's more smelly but it's dried and it's dried lovely and again it looks so much nicer on the black than it does on the on the bare plastic but then as I said this is textured plastic so I think there's your proof guys the model air and the dull aluminium haven't dried so what I'm going to do now this bottle here of dull aluminium okay this is what I think of your paint viejo I wrote to you I told you about or I emailed you I told you the code off the bottle you came back and told me it should be okay I have now proved on camera it's not okay okay so if you are watching this perhaps you'd like to send me another bottle because this one has just gone in the bin okay and these here I'll never use these in the airbrush either the model air these um, goo -goo 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 -goo. where is it it is modular aluminium and steel fantastic on the brush for doing detail work so I'm not going to throw them away they are brilliant I love these for um, detail work but for the actual through the airbrush nah don't like them for large areas um, the AK extreme metal I will definitely give that another go really chuffed with that's come out it's not as good as um, the uh, Alglad in my opinion but having said that it's a different shade it's another shade and if you are doing large areas of, of, of bare metal things rather than having like a toy you want your different shades so that would be a, a lovely one to use and again that's this one I'll use again that's the AK uh, that's the Viejo Chrome sorry it's nothing like Chrome um, nothing like it at all even on the black uh, but at least it's dried so these two don't forget it these two yes so what I might do is do another little bit on this video tomorrow, Saturday, just so you can see, I can prove to you that it hasn't, it still hasn't dried. I mean, I reckon I can probably roll that off of there, I can put finger marks in it, so you can see how it hasn't dried. So there we go. So I'll see you in a minute, guys. All right, then, guys, it's now uh, 24 hours later. It's Saturday the 1st of June. Happy June to everybody. Um... And we'll see what's happening with this paint now as we know the extreme metal um, aluminium dried lovely and you can see the difference in color between the one without the black and with the black the metal color is it metal color it's called yes metal color um, chrome which is this one here that's dried as well that's absolutely fine that's gone off lovely and you can see again the difference in the color when you put it on the black and not on the black and then this one here is the metal colour dull aluminium, which I can't show you the bottle because it's in the bin. Hasn't dried. It's still it's still sticky. Um, if anything, this one is less sticky than that one. So maybe if it was left for a couple of weeks, maybe it would dry or something, but it's not dry. And this, um, the aluminium, the metal colour aluminium, sorry, model air aluminium. Here, this one here hasn't dried at all. It's still it's still sticky uh, I'm not sure if it can be polished no it can be rubbed off though like I can just rub it off the plastic you see I mean I'm just using a cotton bud and I can remove it quite easily as you can see so it's not uh, it's not at all good 
Uh, this one, again, I can remove it quite easily. And there as well, get it straight back to the plastic. This one, oh, that's the same. That's the same. The AK, no, it's not the same. So basically, um, if you're not going to use our clad, probably the AK is the best of all. Okay, um, and obviously there's not an issue with this paint as such in itself for not drying, but certainly my bottle of um, metal color dull aluminium didn't dry. And what I will do, I'll just get the bottle out of the bin and I will show you the batch number. This is the one to avoid. J2907. Okay, so that's the one that doesn't dry. So avoid it like the plague. It's garbage. So there we go, guys. That's the video completed. And there is the test of those, those paints. I know everybody's done trials of these paints. And um, I know Phil Florey's done them. And I can't remember. He loves one or the other. And I can't remember which one it is. Um, but certainly for me, this... Viejo, I'm not going to buy any more, definitely not. This is fantastic for brushing detail and stuff. Um, but for large areas, if you're not going to go for Alclad, get the Extreme Metal from AK. It's 10 times better than any of these. So thanks for watching, guys. If you've enjoyed this and you want to see any more back-to-back -back trials of stuff, just let me know. Um, it's a Will Patterson kind of thing. Will, if you're going to look at his channel, Will does a lot of this sort of stuff. And uh, it's always enjoyable to watch. So, um... As I say, thanks for watching. Thanks to all my subscribers. Today, as of Saturday the 1st of June, I am eight away from having 3,000, uh, which is absolutely amazing in the uh, in the time we've been going here. So, um, yeah, thanks very much. Thanks to my Patreon supporters. And um, I look forward to seeing you all soon with another update on the Junkers 88 build. And we'll very, very soon be doing a start on the Typhoon build. So thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.